Hello guys, this is your boy Yashvi Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe. So in this brand new tutorial, guys, I'm gonna show you how you can update your Chrome Zen device. We're gonna focus on Chrome Zen game ready with your favorite console in just five easy steps. Okay, so I'm gonna cover all these five steps. All right, so the first step will be update your firmware, which is to update your current Zen device to the latest firmware 2.1.0 beta 68 and then install Zen Studio which is to install the latest Zen Studio version 1.3.1 beta 46 alright guys so uh, as you can see I've put it on my desktop okay this is 2 CM update 2 and the Zen Studio both applications are on my desktop okay guys so what you want to do all you want to do is you want to double click on the on the cm update tool okay it should say this no device found okay that's easy just uh connect that top cable into your Chrome zen device then flip your your zen device at the back you're gonna notice a small reset blue button just keep holding that button until you see the led light will flash purple and then on the zen screen it's going to say zen bootloader Hey guys, so as soon as you do that, you're gonna notice that it gets detected right here. So right here, I'm just gonna click begin update. All right, so we are currently flashing the firmware. All right, so once you see this completed, okay now just close this collective minds firmware update tools okay and now we have to plug the prog cable which goes at the right hand side so go ahead and plug your the uh the prog cable the programming cable Okay, so as soon as you plug the prog cable, all right, just open Zen Studio version one that's uh one dot three dot one beta forty six. All right, just double click it, and it should run like this. All right, right below here it should say device connected firmware version beta sixty eight, and right at the top it should shows Zen Studio. 1.3.1 beta 46 okay i'm not gonna keep repeating myself so once you've done that just click tools reset zen studio okay it is important that in order to avoid any previous errors just reset this errors um yeah but i'm gonna link down below in the video description a video how for you to register okay so once you've done that go to device and yeah so first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set this to this right here and then or i'm gonna switch to o2 right here so i don't need to do any special i don't need to take any of those special just make sure that this thing is set on ps plus share and the emulator apple protocol is set on o2 all right, O2. Yeah, if you do have a script, just click compiler, click file open, but instead, okay, so device synchronized successfully. Okay, right, that's good. <clears throat> okay, 
so as you can see now i'm gonna delete these let let me see i'm gonna go there i'm gonna erase memory slots erasing memory um, my memory slots will erase uh all the slots which are already occupied okay so now what watch what will happen when i click programmer when i go into my device slots you can see all the slots there's no scripts there's no game packs anything okay all gone all right so now right here if you do have um if you load a scripts from the compiler then when you click programmer uh, you will click this gpc scripts there you will see your scripts so all you are all you want to do is to drag this and put it on slot number one or two but uh since i'm gonna i'm gonna use the newest uh scripts and game packs so i'm click i'm gonna click on the newest right here and i'm gonna grab the star field okay star field uh script with a game pack so watch what will happen as soon as i drag and drop it this thing will open okay this is a game pack will open and it will ask me to configure it so i'm just gonna leave everything by default all right but say if you'd like to go to configure that you can change all of this all right i don't want to get into that because i feel that i feel like the basic will will be good but let's say if you don't want to ch uh, if you don't want your fire button to be on r2 or rt you want it to be on lt or whatever okay that's weird probably all right so yeah i'm just gonna leave everything as default right there so as soon as i click that okay if you want to add any other scripts like this one football uh co2 and modern warfare okay like this just grab put it right there the game pack should load after you've customized the game packs all right the configuration let's say you've closed it but you still want want to customize it i double click on the one so as for this one you want to double click on the two okay so as you can see double click on the two and this layout so let's say you want to play on tactical or whatever so you want to change your layout your dead zone yeah so after you've done all of that just click this play button and this program device just click this and it's going to say saving to device please wait all right so yeah so as soon as as you see success done click ok and close then studio so you're you're pretty much done right now at this point you're done just one thing Okay, so after you've plugged your controller just to make sure that your controller is working just flip the zen and press the reset button one time okay what what will this do you're gonna notice uh, both led light will uh will flash like uh one time red and then both of them will be green that means you're good to go okay the controller is good to go now how are we gonna verify the controller if the controller is still working okay re-plug the port cable and then yeah well guys um as soon as you enter the port cable just launch then studio and press f3 on your keyboard okay just launch then studio once again press on f3 okay let me do that okay as soon as you hit the f3 this thing will open and now just check if your controller is working by pressing any of these let's say i'm gonna uh I'm gonna press the uh, RT button on the controller. Okay, as you can see, and now the left trigger, up and down, down, left, right, left, up. You can see if I press uh, A button, B, X, Y. As you can see, this one's worked. LB, RB. As you can see, it works. Okay, so that means the controller is fully working. And now just close then studio and before you start your game guys do not forget to remove that prog cable okay otherwise it's gonna get detected okay remove the 
frog cable the programming cable which is connected at the right hand side okay which is connected at the right side in the chronosense